From this video onwards, we will be showing more into cloud counting on how you can make use of it to handle all the invoice situations and scenarios. First of all, in order to use e-invoice features and functionalities, you will have to enable this e-invoice function. To do that, we need to log into cloud accounting, then go to the account book that you want to enable the e-invoice function for. On the top right, click on the setting icon and click settings. At your left side, you can see different sections here. Click on e-invoicing, tick enable invoice and specific your start date. We have four batches of e-invoice start dates which are 1st of August 2024, 1st of January 2025, 1st of July 2025 and 1st of January 2026. So input your start date accordingly. Next, we also have consolidated e-invoice. Do you allow consolidate? So certain industries do not practice consolidate. For example, construction related industries, they might need to untick this checkbox. Because every single e-invoice that they submit to the buyer, it must be a standard e-invoice. They cannot do any consolidation. But if your business does allow consolidating, you can take it. We also have the relaxation period. So this one is for you to specify when do you want your relaxation period to end. For example, if my company is August batch, originally my relaxation period should be until 31st January 2025. So let's say if you are already in the middle of this relaxation period, you want to start to submit invoice as normal in the middle of the relaxation period. So you can just set it to when you want to stop this relaxation period. For example, if I'm ready by October 2024, I can set the last day of the relaxation to be 30 September 2024. After done, click on save. Now on the left side, you can see Malaysia invoice module. That means all the invoice related functions will be available. So that's all for this video about how you enable invoice function and get some general information about your start date and settings to start your invoice.